this is a robin's nest by Perry. Today, Perry will be painting a phone and doing a thrift flip, a patriotic flip, thrift flip on a telephone. This is a, the patriotic DIY collaboration. Our host is a crafty hen. The co-host is rustic and lace and six kids in a glue gun. Make sure to check them out in my in the description box and check out the link for other patriotic DIYs and get some 4th of July and Memorial Day inspiration. Also, if you haven't like make sure to like my video, like the video, comment because we love to hear from you and subscribe because we would love you to join the family. Best my regular black apple barrel paint. I don't even use, that's the only thing I've sealed or my base coat. And then I went in with, because I had it, this, uh, no, I used my Deco Art Midnight Blue. And then I went around the bottom part with my flat white and then striped it. So I'm gonna put you up just a little bit further so that you can see better. There we go. All right, so that's all you have to do to it. I make sure I get all the pieces. If I were to take my fingernail with this, it would scratch off very easily. Let me get my dirty water bowl out of the way. But we're going to make it look old with just some shading. So basically you just put on all the colors and then we'll put some stars on here. We'll do, in fact, before we get much further, let's go ahead and put another coat because I want this to say 1-800-FREEDOM. Now, my favorite ones are the big wall phones, you know, the ones with the cabinet on them. Those, I, I know I have at least four, but I do like to save those for my Santas because, you know, it's kind of different. You could display it every year and it would be a great way for like the grandkids or somebody to call Santa. And then I'm not really big on painting Santa. I'd rather paint Frosty, but not too many people call Frosty. So it has been my best selling phone for years. I would find that even on these, I would put a Santa face on each side, 1 800 Santa here, and then put a Santa face in the middle. But the two last year, one of them has, um, well, I sold them both, but one of them had an, an Uncle Sam on it. So now we just took that white that was stark and, you know, really bright. And now we're going to antique this. And it'll be really easy to antique with just using that same I've just got a medium brown, and we'll show you what the difference is. Now, this is pretty plain. I compare painting to like a coloring book. You know, when you start adding the shading to a coloring book and you do that pretty outline on it, it makes a big difference. So, you're going to see that we're going to get a really nice antique look. Just putting a little bit of paint on the brush and blending it. And this is the best part of painting anyway. It's not fun to just sit in base coat. So I'm using my new brushes I got from Timu the other day. Have you guys ordered from them? I'm really excited about the brushes because Hobby Lobby is discontinuing 
my favorite brush to begin with. And I have a feeling they'll be getting rid of more and more craft supplies. So look at that. Isn't that so much nicer? And we're not done. We'll have to come back once that dries. But we're going to get these here in the front. And I did leave the black uh, number plate, dial plate, um, black because I don't want to have to rewrite all those numbers. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Robin. And Barbara. You guys are up late. Uh, it's my, it will be my second night with my CPAP. I went and got it yesterday. I lasted for two hours with it, and then I thought I was going to suffocate to death, and I had to remove it. <clears throat> so it's going to take some getting used to. And above anything, I don't care how I pass when, I, when it's my time to go. My fear has always been to suffocate. And when you want to put that thing on my face, it's like, anxiety time all right oh, see how much nicer that just appears let's get the back so it's done all the way around and then once we seal this with an outdoor sealer your grandkids or anybody could play with it and it wouldn't bother it All right, we're gonna let that dry up before we shade the black. And we're just going to put in, oh, this is a small brush. I have tried before, oops, that brush isn't going to work, to stencil little stars on and it doesn't work. It's, there's too many, um, Nothing's straight on here. So I just make an upside down B, line across. And when we're all done, we're going to uh, put that brown right over the top of these stars. And that way the whole telephone will have kind of a primitive look. Any more though, if you go to a flea market, they want quite a bit for a darn phone. They get more for a phone than what I get for it once I paint it. So you don't need many of them. The ones down here can be a little bit bigger. But if you decorate uh, for red, white, and blue, I know a lot of people, when I used to make these at the craft shows, we did a lot of things red, white, and blue because a lot of people actually even had red, white, and blue kitchens. So we made the paper towel holders, napkin holders. Remember when you had microwave popcorn boxes and the box with the heart cut out in front? Uh, um, oh, thank you, Carol. Uh, I hope so, Deborah. I kind of, I did 
feel better than I did the night at the sleep study when I had to wear it. I, I did feel better. And my three-year-old grandson spent the night, so that could have probably had something to do with it. You know how many times a three-year-old can shift in bed? And no matter how many times you straighten them out, their little toes just dig into you. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like, oh, wow. So I think that was probably the reason I woke up too. But man, when I woke up, I was like, okay, I can't do it. And the next morning when I looked, I had actually went an hour and 15, 55 minutes with it. So, so that was pretty good. Luckily, he was asleep before I went to bed. Otherwise, he probably would have been scared because I have to wear the chin strap. <laughs> Sleeping with an octopus. I know. You have all these tubes. Well, probably not all, but it feels like you can't move. Yeah, it, it will get take some getting used to, that's for sure. But I had to take the chin strap because at the sleep study, I was opening my mouth. And you know when that happens and then you're really suffocating because you can't. <laughs> so I got to wear the chin strap and then that apparatus on top of that. And it's like, holy cow. I'm getting old. <laughs> oh, my. Then my husband was like. Yeah, I will never. <laughs> you need one worse than I. I didn't even know. I don't even snore and I had to have one. I am very happy, Robin, with my brushes. Very, very happy. Now, I will tell you that that pink set that I got that I thought I would love the liner brush, like my 30 slash zero, I don't like the way the handle now, this one's good. This set, the Conda set, I really like. But then that set with the pink handle, that one would take some getting used to because I think as painters, we get used to the feel of a brush. And so that one didn't do it for me very well, the pink set. Um, I really like the clothing that I got. I... You'll have to watch my page because I've got more coming. <laughs> Two more. Two more batches. I got my granddaughter the big plush um, fur bedspread. We'll see. All right, well... Unfortunately, freedom does not have seven letters. We'll see how I like this brush. I used it in my paint group just a little bit ago. So I'm going to make a post tomorrow with my favorite brushes and the links to the ones so that you can go right to them. Also, my um, assistant today made a quick 45 second video of me doing that opening so that it was, you know, easier than watching it for how long did it take me? 30 minutes.
but I was very happy with the clothes. I feared they would run small, and mine came true to size. Deborah, I am, I'll be 63, no, I'll be 62. Yeah, I'll be 62 in November. Just doesn't think anymore. And I do, I always breathe with my mouth. And until I went for that sleep study, I didn't realize I was such a shallow breather. Basically meaning I'm I, too la lazy to actually take a deep breath. <laughs> that that's kind of what it's what it is, and that thing forces you to breathe deeply. Well, we only have three, so we're going to have to make this. Um, Let's just make an asterisk. Ah. Okay. Well, I didn't want that there. So this one came from Timu. It, this part hits my fingers in a different area than my 30, than my master's touch. <clears throat> I am farther away from my bristles on this one, and I can tell I don't have as good of um, control with it at this point. Now, I'm sure with practice, it'll get there. So I'm going to be selling this tomorrow over on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. The link is in my bio down there. And Mary Ann's probably on here and she's probably put it on there. Ah! Ah! Sandy! It's getting late and I didn't have no sleep last night. All right. And we can fix it. When you use a white flat paint, you can, um, this has, what I'm trying to say, this has no surface prep on it whatsoever. <clears throat> and that wiped off really clean. So this is going to be an easy fix, thank goodness. I'm glad you told me because I'm sitting here saying I'm selling it tomorrow. So we'll let that dry as we go back and work on the other part. Whew, good thing you're here. All right, so now we want to make the red um, stripes shaded. So I've got black this time. And now you can see what a difference this will make. Well, there's my eight letters when freedom has two E's. <laughs> you were all typing at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I should have looked up sooner than I did. Um, so, you know, I, I, I always say that I can use any brush and it doesn't bother me. Now, a shader's a shader, a filbert's a filbert, I'll never see any big difference. But when it comes to my lettering, I really want certain brushes. And no, it doesn't feel like my master's touch. Good thing I stocked up on those. 
now that they're discontinued. And I think it's because you have to have more control when you're lettering than what you do, you know, with things like this. I can even clean up my lines doing this. And isn't it odd to think that our vocabulary no longer really has the word telephone in it? Now it's cell phone, and pretty soon they'll drop the cell and just say my phone, and we'll know what they mean. Telephone book will be gone. I used to love getting the telephone book in the mail. I don't know why. Especially when they started putting the menu in the phone books. You can tell we didn't have much to do as a kid when we're looking forward to getting the telephone book. Or how many of you would call time and temperature just because that was the coolest thing ever? Man, we, when our bank got time and temperature, I don't know how many times we called just to it was the weirdest thing. Or we'd call before school and find out what the temperature was. The little things, I guess, in life, huh? All right, let's... Okay, this is dry enough that I want to create a line right across here. And smooth that whole thing out. And we're going to do it here as well. Oops. So now we want to clean up. See where we've got some red and stuff on the blue. You don't have to go through all you, you know, and with the rag and try to clean that up. All you have to do is go over it with the black. And now it's going to make you a really pretty line. So anyway, before I got flustered because I misspelled freedom, I'm going to sell this at auction tomorrow over on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. And not only will my stuff be there, but there we have several other vendors who place their items up for bid at 9 a.m. And the bidding stops at... 9 p.m. Central Time, and it's such a fun thing to do, to watch the bids and see how high they go, and sometimes what kind of good deal you can get. You never know what's going to happen. Sometimes things go high. Sometimes things go cheaper than if you just bought them. Sometimes you can get a really good deal, so it's always a lot of fun to do that. So that is Friday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then we have live sales on Saturday and Sunday. And that's where you'll find things like this. And, you know, exactly the same kind of things that you would find at a craft show. So that's Saturday and Sunday. And then on Monday, we have our vintage sales again. We do that once a month. And... That time, it's not home decor. It is anything thrifted and, you know, vintage, antique, old things you can make things with. 
all the things. So I gotta go around and find some other things. I got some material at the thrift store not too long ago that I may put up. Because it's back from the 80s and 90s and it's popular. Okay, let's let that dry up. All we have left to do, I'm going to go around this. That will kind of shade up my stars as well. Now back to this. I'm going to shade it again. I'm going to extend that. This is what we're going to do over the stars. So while I've got it and that's dry, we can go ahead and go over that. So now look at that. It, it kind of looks like we stained it. It looks old. It's going to look so good once we get this done. While that's drying, though, I want to make this 1-800-FREEDOM uh, look like it is an additional part. Um... Well, Mr. Kitty missed his vet appointment today because it is an outdoor stray cat. And the vet couldn't get him in until this morning at 10. Yesterday he went missing. I hadn't seen him since Tuesday night because, you know, he went out and roamed around. And so I thought he went off somewhere and died. But then tonight, guess who shows up? I don't know where he's been for two days, but he's still sick. And it's like, great. I already have to pay for a missed appointment because I uh, didn't call within 24 hours to cancel it. So, Mr. Kitty is costing me $25 for no-show fee. And... Since he came tonight, I got a call tomorrow, and now I probably won't be able to get him in until next week. So that's how that's going. I sure thought being gone for two days because no, we even went to get fed, but he's still not feeling good. I tried to get him to come in tonight, and he wouldn't come in. Let's shade around here, too. That way, when it's sitting down, it'll look good. Now, I won't go through all of it, but I will even turn it over. I'll shade in here. It's going to have a really good um, look to it. And nothing, yeah, you know, I get that all the time. No matter what I'm painting on, I never take the time to put any special sealer on, use any special, I don't know, you always hear all these magic potions that are, you know, different things that people buy to seal and to put over things. I've never done that. It's just knowing how to keep your brush not too wet, not too dry. I don't use it. The only time I seal it is when I'm completely done and I'll add a top sealer. And then once I add that, you can't scratch it off for anything. Okay, well, let's try Freedom again. Oh, this looks so cute. I like this. I don't know if I remember what the phones I did last year because I just did two of these Americana phones last year. Usually, like I said, they're um, snowmen because I like to paint snowmen on all the things. Where 
I wonder if I've got my good the brush I like. I've been playing around with that one tonight, and it's like, I really want my brush back. Actually, in that Timu thing, I must have ordered two packages because I got two of the same. All right. Go back to my master's touch. And then that's not it. But I can work with that one. Give me a few more bristles to make it thicker in areas. And then when I seal this, it'll bring all these colors, make them more vibrant. It'll still look old, but it won't look so flat. I, I like a shine to my stuff. Hey, we got 1-800-FREEDOM. I will go and put, oh, we might as well. I should have put these on before. I put my shade on so they could have been shaded at the same time. But they'll have a brown look just like the top. See what it looks like because that is about all there is. Oh, I do want to give my stars just a light glaze of brown. So let's get a soft brush. And just a little bit of my brown. Then water it down so we don't have too much. star up there wasn't quite dry so I will go over the stars and then and that will give some shading to that blue I'll make Make it look older. There we go. I like it. I won't do the stars there yet. But nice, cute phone that can be, actually, if you have a landline, it works. But it'll be really cute for the upcoming you got Flag Day, you got Memorial Day, and a lot of people just like to um, decorate all year long with the red, white, and blue. So it's different. Um, hmm. What time is it? I got eight minutes. And see how that brown just kind of gives that glaze, not a glaze, but it kind of looks like um, cinnamon or something on there. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, thank you, Sue. All right. So this 
Oh, I know what we forgot too. Well, I'm remembering it all now that I'm ready to go home and put my gear on. <laughs> all right, well, let's. I have a little bit of highlight and that brush isn't going to get it either. I have all these new brushes out here and I want to use the new ones to do that. All right, let's dry brush inside of the red stripes. Yolanda, yay, you got alive. It's kind of late at night. Usually, my projects are always so detailed that I go forever, so I like the late night one spots. So I'll put a picture of this up tomorrow to show you how it looks once it's sealed. But look, doesn't that look dirty up there? And that's the look I want, so I'm not going to clean it. We want that worn look here. Anyway, tomorrow over on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace, it will be up for auction along with a lot of other things. And Monday night is our vintage auction. So we're going to put some worn places because we don't want it to look real new. Although the dial doesn't look bad. I guess we need to go over that with some brown too. I'll go through and just toughen it up a little bit. Let's see. I do want to put America on this side. this too wet, but I don't want USA to be in bright white either. And we're even going to go over this face plate with some brown and get that a little bit dingy there. It's looking too, looks like the good part of the phone. Let's put it in the zero and kind of turn it around to get those dots on the inside. How many of you remember your phone number from, uh, say, when you were a teenager? I bet most of you can say your phone number. In fact, that will be the question on my Facebook thing tomorrow. What was your phone number back in the day? I wonder if somebody still has my old phone number. I should dial it and see who answers. 217-762-3649. But then we had to change it to 3646 at some point because somebody wanted our number or something. Don't really remember all that, but I do remember my phone number. All right, well, let's just jazz it up since we got a couple of minutes. We got four minutes. Uh, thank you, Sandy. I am in Central, so it is almost 1030 here. Hi, Ellie. I hope you enjoy it. I am on Craft Around the Clock, and they will... Tomorrow's Friday. I, I'm not going to say I don't know what's going on tomorrow, but you can always find DIYs here on Craft Around the Clock, or you may be catching me on my business page. One of those two you're catching me on. But you should definitely check out Craft Around the Clock if you like. DIYs and crafting because this channel has a lot of them. Okay, I don't know why I can't find my regular. Oh. Whew. This is the brush I like. So 
Ah, this, I gotta take better care of them now that they are um, discontinued. But this is the difference between the two. This one came off Timu, and you can see that it's longer. The bristles are the same, but where you put your hand is different from where you put your hand on this one. So that's what I did not like about it. But I can learn to live with it since I won't have my regular ones. Now it's not backwards, is it? I don't know. I think that this one actually has more bristles than that one. In fact, I know it does because the other one you can apply pressure and it doesn't spread out like this one. And this one's really a bad brush. It's so trash. Okay. Oh. oh, these are the ones you do not want to order from Timu. The pink handle, they're long, but that the part you hold on to is too thin. Um, you can't remember your, you don't remember? See, you're like my cousin. I can tell her stories growing up and she has no clue. I can tell you stuff minute details from my past, but I can go in, take my insulin or something, and then I have to sit there and panic. Did I take it or not? Do I have the sore spot? Does something hurt? <laughs> I can't remember, especially if it's a thyroid medicine or something. I have to set them out on the counter first because I will sit there and guess whether or not I took it. Crazy. I have no short no short term memory at all. But I got excellent long term memory. Now let's do this as a little star. That got hung up on that little ridge there, so I'll have to go back and fix that. And then it looks pretty dark, so we're going to go in and lighten that up a little bit with some white. Got to take a before picture now I'll have to crawl up in the loft and grab a, another black phone for a before picture but I'll put both of them on, here on my page if you don't follow my page it's the Robin's Nest by Terry and I will not be on craft around the clock for a couple weeks I've got a business meeting coming up the week after next so I will be gone for a while All right, now let's make that stand out. So what's good about this, when you're painting something that's 3D, you gotta think of where somebody's going to put it with anything. But I'm banking, I'm hoping that whoever has this, that this side will probably, you know, probably won't see that side, but this side will show up better. 
Sometimes I do both sides, but I'm going to keep it like this. Because you never know how somebody's going to display it. Okay, let's put just a little bit of black in here. Kind of break up the monotony of the black. And I don't want anything solid. Just want a little kind of dusting of a highlight. Okay, there it is. Let me show you the whole thing. Now, I even will go back through here. I'll save you guys from having to watch the whole thing, but I'll go through here and we'll just put some little lines to add to it because we there wasn't a whole lot on a phone. That's a problem with a the phone. There's not, there's not really much of a painting surface. I said I wasn't going to bother you with this, and now I am. All right. I want to have it ready to go. I probably will not get my things listed at 9 a.m. in the morning, depending on how this breathing machine goes tonight. But um, several of our vendors will probably kind of like always on there before me. So, isn't that cute for an old?